What's going on guys, it's Chris back with Palmer Aquatics. Today I want to talk about Electric Blue Crayfish Aquarium Care. This is really a big deal because a lot of people haven't done videos on these Electric Blue Crayfish and it's been a couple months since we've been keeping these and I want to give my personal experience on how to properly set up an aquarium designed for the Electric Blue Crayfish. So as you guys know, my house is full of fish tanks. There's over 50 tanks in the house now, and it's getting a bit crazy, but uh, you can't see the tanks right now because it's during the day. Um, here's the entertainment center build. Um, everything's off because it's like early morning slash afternoon. But uh, so the electric blue crayfish, it's been a couple months since we've been keeping these and I've moved them around to different tanks, trying to figure out the best scenario for them and watch them to where to see if they're happy or not. And I kind of did a deep dive on crayfish in general. So the best aquarium that I found for the crayfish in the house was this tank over here. It's a six foot long, 125 gallon aquarium. Obviously crayfish are only gonna be utilizing the tank bottom where the gravel and substrate is. So number one aspect is to give the crayfish the most amount of space in an aquarium as possible at the bottom. So wider and shallower aquariums are better. Secondly, I chose this tank because it's a cold water aquarium. You know, we're keeping koi fish in there, goldfish in there, guppies, live bears, anything that's cold water. There's some rosy red minnows in there. Um, uh, what else? There's all kinds of minnows you can choose that are cold water. My point is crayfish prefer colder water temperatures for the most part, especially the electric blue crayfish. And uh, this, the next variable I wanna talk about is hiding places. Hiding places is a huge deal for crayfish. Get as many stones in there as possible. Natural habitat for crayfish is like rivers with tons of stones in hiding spots. They prefer to actually hide during the day. This is my electric blue crayfish over here. Yes, we are going in the aquarium of, or the corner of the aquarium, because this is where he goes all day long. He literally hides. There he is right there, see him? So this just tells you that they prefer hiding spots. We're about to throw a bunch of rocks in here from the river. Sorry, I'm zoomed in. And I got a bucket full of a bunch of rocks over there and we're gonna toss them in here and that's gonna be beautiful. We also chose these stones because they have holes inside of them and they love to crawl inside there and hide. The reason they prefer to hide is because they're actually nocturnal. Crayfish are nocturnal, a lot of people don't know that. So here's a perfect example of the aquarium differences that you want. And these, this is just a smaller scale version. This is a smaller or more shallow and wider tank. This would be better for crayfish than this taller, more narrow tank because they only use the tank bottom. So uh, it's kind of just a small scale uh, comparison that I happen to have here. So these two tanks are leaking and we're gonna do a project with some spray foam. It's a whole other thing. So, um, and guys, a lot of people ask me about what to feed their crayfish. In natural habitat, crayfish mainly feed on dead, decaying fish. So as stupid as it sounds, but when I have a fish die in all these aquariums, I will literally throw it in the tank and make sure that it sinks to the bottom for them because if it floats, they're not gonna get it or find it because they're at the bottom of the tank. I literally feed these guys dead fish. And I know that you might not have that opportunity because you don't have this many aquariums, but you can replicate that by like cutting up a small piece of raw shrimp that you buy from the grocery store that also works or tilapia. Anything raw that kind of gets like stinky, uh, don't overfeed though. You just need a tiny little piece. Um, they're scavengers and they will eat um, not, not a ton, but you know, decaying food is the best thing for them, decaying live foods. So to recap this, your aquarium should have the most amount of space at the bottom for them to move around in. Obviously you might not have a six foot long aquarium. Maybe you have a 55. I'm really gonna push for anything above 40 gallon breeder tanks because they just, uh, you know, 20 gallon and stuff, it's too small for crayfish. Next aspect, cold water. It really helps them kind of like, uh, they're from rivers, cold water rivers. Can they be in warm water? Yes, not a huge deal. 
um, and lots of coverage. This tank has tons of coverage. There's lots of floating plants. It has lots of stones in here. Um, there's just tons of coverage. And also, they're nocturnal. So don't like rely on them being outside during the day and seeing them a lot. Uh, you're going to you're gonna learn to enjoy seeing the electric blue crayfish because when you set up the right environment for them in your aquarium, they're going to hide because they prefer to hide. And I also have a video on tank mates for crayfish. I'll throw a link to that in this description as well. My favorite tank mates for crayfish, I'll tell you since you're here now, but um, are goldfish, koi, and live bears. Because, you know, live bears are constantly breeding, so it's not the end of the world if you lose one. And goldfish because uh, single tail goldfish and koi, I might add, because, you know, fancy goldfish, they're, they're too slow moving, they're gonna get caught and they're gonna die because yes, crayfish will catch your fish. There comes a time when it happens. Guys, the cats are freaking out. I'll give you a view. Yeah, we have four cats over here right now. It's pretty crazy. It's glorified animal hoarding at its best, guys. We're also addicted to house plants. Um, they're just, they're awesome. So, and if you could incorporate floating plants into your tank, I'm gonna push you to do that because obviously plants are mother nature's filtration. I know I sound like a hippie, but it's completely true. We have as much pothos in tanks as possible. Um, just pothos everywhere. Pothos are so easy. They're just so great um, to just throw in the water, give it time, and it, it just works out. So if you guys want to subscribe to my main channel, hit up Palmer Aquatics. I do a lot of crazy builds. This house is full of fish tanks, literally. This is a custom uh, house plant shelf that you don't have to move the plants when you water them. It automatically drains over here in this pipe. So that's pretty crazy, huh? Um, but yeah, I have uh, tons of crazy stuff constantly on my regular channel, Palmer Aquatics. And I got a handful of uh, sponsors. This is my lifestyle, so it is what it is. Uh, if you guys want have any questions about crayfish, hit up the comment section. Hopefully this helps answer questions on taking care of your electric blue crayfish in your aquariums. Uh, I didn't have a lot of footage for the blue crayfish because they're always hiding. And my point is you need to let them hide and you need to set up your aquarium to allow them to hide or they're gonna get really nervous and die. It's it's happened to me over and over and over. So uh, yeah, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Without further ado, guys, you wanna say goodbye to everyone, Avery? What are you playing on your tablet? Can you say electric blue crayfish? Electric blue crayfish. <laughs> All right, guys, without further ado,